Sonic Movie 2 was finally released in theaters last week and it has been a massive success, making a good amount of money at the box office and also being really successful with fans. But before Sonic 2 was even released, there was the announcement that Sonic the Hedgehog 3 would be happening in a Knuckles spin-off series starring Idris Elba. So since the second movie is finally out, I thought it would be a great time to do a predictions for Sonic 3 and the Knuckles series. In today's video, I am going to be laying my predictions for the Knuckles spin-off series. We don't know an exact date, we just know it's going to be coming soon. But before we get into the predictions properly, be sure to like the video, leave a comment, and also subscribe with notifications on to be notified for when all new videos come to the channel. That out of the way though, let's get into it. So just jumping right into it really, I'm doing this completely unscripted, I'm mostly going to be rambling. Um, how many episodes and like what the episode length could be for each episode? Obviously the episodes will probably be around 20 to 30 minutes long or even if they want to they can reach the 40 minute limit. In terms of how many episodes, I think around 6 to 9 episodes seems to be a reasonable amount. 69 months? No, 6 to 9 months. Kowalski. Go Going in story-wise, obviously, since Sonic Movie 2 clearly showed they could definitely dive into a lot of lore, then I could definitely see this diving into a lot of Knuckles part of the lore with the Echidna tribe. I feel it's just me, but one thing that I think would be cool is, like, if this takes place in the human world, we could see Knuckles adapting to the human world, to Earth. That would be interesting to see, since, like, him fully adapting, like, you know, since this is, like, his first time on Earth after Sonic 2, and that would be really interesting to see. Also, um, maybe like him searching for the Chaos Emerald since they're no longer in the Master Emerald as obviously in Sonic 2, the Chaos Emeralds made up the Master Emerald after Sonic went Super Sonic, they no longer did. We don't know where the Chaos Emeralds went at the end of the movie, so we'll see. Maybe Knuckles will go on a quest to find the rest of them. That would be interesting to see. I am expecting a, like flashbacks to stuff with the Echidna tribe when they had the Master Emerald. Also in flashback, we'll probably see Tikal. Like, that would be really cool to see. I mean, we didn't see anything of her in flashbacks with Sonic the Hedgehog 2, so it would be a good opportunity for us to get like maybe flashbacks if like they do give this a good budget if they are able to like show like maybe just like you know something with to call we don't know like maybe to call will appear through flashbacks though characters though this is interesting because obviously there is this is the knuckles series in general is a perfect opportunity for so many things. One, expanding the lore, like I mentioned before, with story. Two, is adding a lot more characters. The most likely character for me that, in general, should appear in Sonic 3 as well is Rouge the Bat. Out of all the characters from the games they could put in this series, I feel Rouge is the one that makes the most sense and also the one that is the most connected to Knuckles they could do. It would be interesting, like, if they did follow the story of, like, Knuckles searching for the Chaos Emeralds, like, he's on a race against Rude, as obviously in the games, Rude likes to steal jewels, as she wants to steal the Master Emerald, so it would be interesting if they did that with the Chaos Emeralds. Now, I wonder what actor they actually would cast for Rude. I don't really know any on the top of my head that would be fitting, uh, but definitely someone who would have good chemistry with Idris Elba as Knuckles. And really, the only other characters besides, like I said, Tall, Root, in flashbacks, Rouge, the, really, I think the Chaotix would be pretty fitting for the series, because the Chaotix obviously, uh, first appeared in the game Knuckles Chaotix, so they obviously have a good connection with knuckles it would be cool to see them introduce maybe this is like their origin into the detective agency that we've seen like sonic heroes that would be interesting to see and obviously the members we would see are obviously vector sbo and charmy mighty is interesting though if they will include mighty as a non knuckles chaotix that would be cool to see but then again it might be a bit risky mighty obviously is more popular now thanks to sonic mania plus and it would be cool to see him in live action, but, but it's up to debate for me whether or not Mighty will be with the Chaotix in the Knuckles series. I feel like it would just be the regular three, but it would be cool to see Mighty still. And obviously, in Sonic Movie 2, we all know that Knuckles is the last of the Echidnas, so it would be great to see how Knuckles feels being the last of the Echidna tribe. I think that would be a really interesting story. 
uh, wise uh, for Knuckles, along with him like adapting to the human world, trying to find the Chaos Emeralds. Or if they want to, they could do like how it is in SA1 and 2, where you know the Master Emerald is shattered into pieces. He could explore the world trying to find the pieces. But you know, they might do Chaos Emeralds, or they might do something completely different. We don't know. But I do think it is perfect that they explore knuckles being the last of his tribe how it feels about it and what are our overall thoughts one thing they could definitely do with the series is lots of world building like obviously exploring the backstory of the echidna tribe and knuckles uh development obviously but a lot of good world building for the sonic universe like obviously introducing rude the chaotix and maybe also exploring the master emerald and chaos emerald Again, like this is like they have so many opportunities to do with this series. In terms of who the main villain could be, that's kind of confusing. Like Knuckles doesn't really have a designated villain. I mean, if they could get Jim Carrey for the series, which is probably very unlikely unless Jim Carrey does retire, but then again, he could appear in Sonic 3. So obviously, like we don't know if Eggman will appear in the series. I don't think he will. But maybe, like, they could try a, the re Metal Sonic from Knuckles Chaotix if they do do the Knuckles Chaotix sort of route. That's very unlikely, though, because we don't know even if Metal Sonic will even appear in Sonic 3 or in a future film. I feel it would be cool to see the Metal Sonic we saw in Knuckles Chaotix, but then again, it would be a bit weird to not see, like, how Metal Sonic would be before that. People think Metal Sonic is obviously going to be silver because, like, the fit with a lot of Eggman's tech in the movie universe, which makes sense. But, like, it would be interesting, like, if Metal Sonic appears here first and then in movie 3, but I feel that's very unlikely. One last thing interesting for me I kind of want to see is maybe the Knuckle Raps? Like, really, I think it's kind of unlikely to see Knuckles rapping or having it as background music, but I would like to see it. Uh, the two most likely songs for me are actually my favorites. I would love to see Unknown from M.E. And of course, Kick the Rock, maybe if Rouge appears. But I guess that's pretty much all I really got to say for the series, uh, like, you know, in terms of predictions. If I were to say one last thing, I definitely would like to see more Sonic Zones. It would be cool if they took, like, real-world set pieces and made them Sonic Zones, since they clearly made that work in Sonic 2. I mean, Siberia was, like, great as Ice Cap Zone, really know with the snowboarding scene but that's mostly it for what i have to predict for the series um if you have your own predictions make sure to leave them down in the comments below what do you think that it will happen in the series what characters do you want to appear what set pieces do you want what do you mainly want from this series and what do you want them to explore but expect a prediction video for sonic 3 i definitely will go more in depth with that obviously since there's a lot of things they can do with sonic 3 be sure again to like the video comment down below your suggestions for what the series could do also feel free to subscribe and notification on to be notified when all new videos come out i highly appreciate the support you guys give to the channel be at the end of the video expect the predictions for sonic 3 soon i'll see you guys later have a good day i love you guys peace out Bye.